بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما الحمد لله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ان شاء الله we've been looking at taqwa and this idea of the people of taqwa another qaida or principle in the quran is the idea of uh, of uh, طيب or goodness طيب uh, and and the opposite of what is طيب is called uh, خبث or uh, or خبيث so you have الطيبون and then you have the 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 خبثاء the طيبون are the people of taqwa these are the people that have trained their souls disciplined their souls to be good in Allah tayyibun la yaqbalu illa tayyiba Allah is, is is pure and good and he only accepts the pure and the good so uh, this this is this is a very important uh, quality in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says qul la yastawi al khabith wa tayyib they're not equal the khabith to the tayyib they're not equal the foul to the pure they're not equal the polluted to the, the, the pure. And so this is a, a, a very important principle in the Qur'an that the tayyibun the, tayyibat, pure people, pure men for pure women. Um, and so pureness is, is a quality that can be found in anything. Uh, you can have pure water, you can have polluted water, you can have pure money which is money that was earned through halal means. You can have impure money, which is money w- which was earned through haram means. So understanding what purity is is very important. And, w- and this is one of the things that Muslims are working on, on themselves, to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through getting pure. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَيَجْعَلَ الْخَبِيثَ بَعْضُهُ عَلَى بَعْضٍ فَيَرْكُمُهُ جَمِيعًا فِيَجْعَلْهُ فِي جَهَنَّمْ That Allah will have the khabith that some of it on on others so it piles up فيركمه, means it piles up all together and then he puts it into the hell so the khabith is headed to hell al-tayyib is headed to paradise so this is something really important to remember that we want to be uh, tayyib Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he says قُلْ لَا يَسْتَوِيَ الْخَبِيثُ وَالطَّيِّبُ then he says وَلَوْ أَعْجَبَكَ كَثْرَةُ الْخَبِيثُ even if you are impressed by so much of the foulness, فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ يَا أُولَى الْأَلْبَابِ Have taqwa, O people of innermost understanding. لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ This, this, uh, this uh, ayah in Al-Ma'idah is reminding us that khabith is not the same as tayyib. Taqwa is not the same as its opposite, which is uh, a state of disobedience to Allah. But then it says, وَلَوْ أَعْجَبَكَ كَثْرَةُ الْخَبِيثِ even if you're impressed with so much of the khabith. Because when you look out in the world, you'll see all of this khabith and it seems to be flourishing. Don't be impressed by it. So you see, if you want a successful television program today, it has to be foul. You can't have a pure television program. That's how you're going to have success in the dunya, but not in the akhirah. Uh, if you look at people now that... Uh, its foulness is what seems to uh, charm other people. Pure people, tayyib people, now are looked on uh, as, what's wrong with you? Get with the program. Why aren't you drinking? Why are you dressing modestly? Because to dress immodestly is khubth. To dress modestly is tayyibuba. It's, it's, it's something that reflects uh, purity. And so that's what the Quran is saying. And then it says, Fattakullaha. This is like the, in the, there was a, a airplane crash that happened uh, several years ago. Um, and there was a Syrian family that when they were getting on the plane, in order, they, they were demanding that this woman take off her hijab. And she refused. And the family was, she said, I do this for God. I'm not going to take off my hijab, it was for identification. And she wouldn't do it. And, and then the, she, she ended up not getting on the plane with her whole family. The plane went down. There was a woman who was adhering to a principle. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewarded her 
with that adherence. It doesn't mean that good people don't die in airplane crashes. They do. That can happen. But it, that, that's an example of somebody who adhered to something and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed her that reality. And we will find that very often in our lives. That when we, we, when we adhere to these principles, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will show you, will reveal to you the, the blessings of adhering to those principles. And so we shouldn't be fooled by this. Another verse in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us, مَنْ عَمِرَ صَارِحًا مِنْ ذَكَرًا أَوْ أُنْثَى وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٌ فَلَا نُحْيَنَّهُ حَيَاةً طَيِّبًا So that whoever does a good deed, whether a male or a female, whoever acts righteously, whether they're male, مِنْ ذَكَرًا أَوْ أُنْثَى وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٌ and they, and they have belief. In other words, they're doing it because they know that, uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching them, is aware of them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَلَا نَحْيَنَّهُمْ حَيَاةً طَيِّبًا We will cause them to live a tayyib life, a pure life. In other words, when you act according to taqwa, when you act according to these principles, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give you a good life. Uh, th these are axiomatic truths that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised His people. And so, and another thing, that there's people that the angels, when they cause them to die, they, th these are the people that are tayyibin, and these are the people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, will, will protect. Another uh, important aspect of, of uh, this concept in the Quran of Tayyib is food. And we often don't think about this, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, Ya yuhan nasu kudu mimma fir ardi halalan tayyiba wa la tattabi'u khutwaat shaitan Eat of the good things halalan tayyiba these halal things and tayyib, pure things wa la tattabi'u khutwaat shaitan or khutwaat shaitan don't follow the progress of shaitan. If you want to understand Iblis, Iblis is a progressive. Iblis is not a conservative. Iblis is always changing the, the, the posts. He's always moving them a little bit further. So now he's telling you uh, that uh, marriage, uh, you know, here, oh, what's wrong with uh, intimacy outside of marriage, if it's two people that love each other, they agree on it, and then move it to the next stage, move it to the next stage. Uh, what's coming next are things like in Germany, uh, incest, uh, making permitted incest. This is what shaitan does. He takes people progressively. He doesn't take them. Whereas what we're trying to do is conserve the best of the past. We don't want to conserve the negative aspects of the past. Racism was something uh, in many places in the past. It still exists today. That's not something you want to conserve. But family, you want to conserve family. Shaitan wants to destroy family. Uh, marriage, you want to conserve family. Shaitan wants to destroy family. And so he takes people by prog uh, progression. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us to eat these pure things. Halalan tayyiba. Uh, and this is very important to understand that food can be halal but not tayyib. So for instance, there's a lot of, of food now that is actually harmful for you. Uh, much of the chicken that's raised, people eat a lot of chicken. If you look how the chickens are raised, if you look what they're being fed, if you look at the hormones that are being put in them, these things all affect people. The other thing that if you eat good, then you will do good. It's the nature. When you eat tayyib, your actions will be tayyib. If you eat khabith, your actions will be khabith. If you eat good, your actions will be good. If you eat foul, your actions will be foul. So there's a direct relationship between the caloric energy that you derive from food and how that caloric energy is used in your actions. If that caloric energy is derived from halal and tayyib sources, pure and, and permitted sources, then what you will do will be pure and permitted. If it's derived from khabith and haram sources, uh, in other words, prohibited and foul sources, then what you're going to do is prohibited and foul. This is axiomatic. And so it's very important 
to um, to do this. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the messengers, Ya yuhar rusulu kulu min at-tayyibati wa'amaru saliha. Eat from the pure things and do righteous actions. Inni bima ta'amaruna alim. That I am completely aware of what you're doing in Surah Al-Mu'minun. So that's a, a, a good example of the direct correlation between what you eat and what you do. And this is to the messengers. Ya yuhar rusul. O oh, you messengers, right? Kulu min al-tayyibati. Eat from the pure things. Wa'amaru saliha. And do good things. In other words, it's axiomatic that if you eat pure, you will do pure. If you eat foul, you'll do foul. So food is extremely important uh, to watch what you're eating. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.